Welcome back to Katap's Farm YouTube channel. We want to thank you for always being with us, for subscribing, for sharing, and for always encouraging us to keep on. This morning, I want to share with you about biosecurity on the farm. What do you call biosecurity? Biosecurity is the measure, the measures you put on your farm to control pests and diseases. Biosecurity is the only measure you can use to control pests and diseases, and diseases on your farm. So if it's your first time to be on this channel, please subscribe. And if you have been watching our videos, share, comment and like. If you want to add something or comment on something, put in the comment section down here. Please watch till the end. In this video, I will show you the equipment I use on this farm to control diseases. That's what we call biosecurity. Biosecurity is not something you come, that comes from the sky. It is between you and your farm to control the diseases. Now, for us here, we ensure that you have an overall. That overall means what? You enter in your buds with warm clothing. That means you avoid infections from the garden, from everywhere. This uniform should always be in the chicken farm, on the chicken coop. Never use something else. Two, we have to have our disinfectant. I've not seen organic disinfectant so far. However, we buy from the shops the disinfectant. I, I usually use Virokil, sometimes Norcleans, sometimes I use Ultra Clean. All of them have worked for me. As long as it is proven by UNBS or by the agencies that treat or the, that, that give permission to sell these drugs, it is useful. So what do you do with it? You can see if you can read on, they have put 100 mils in 10 liters. That is for foot bath. So if you want to measure, you come, measure your 100 mils, you put in your container. I usually say use what is available. But I'm, I want to put 50 mils because this is a small container. So how do you make to ensure that your disinfectant is well measured and you don't make mistakes? We have our syringe here. This is 35 mils, so I put in 35 up to here. Remember, I'm looking for 50 mils, so the means I've only add 15. 35 plus 15, you get 50. Why am I doing that? Because my container is only 5 liters of water. So when you're using other disinfectants they give they may give you different measures but this one specifically the ultra clean disinfectant you use 100 mils in 10 liters of water for foot bath so we get our water so this is a five liter jelly can Okay, there you are good to go. You have your 10 liter, your, your 5 liter gel can placed where you need it. You cannot own a pump without a pump. This pump is usually to especially removing the dust, also spraying the compound. We spray our compound every week because we don't trust anything, small birds, what. A bad white steps can bring you diseases, so we spray all over. And it's easy. Just put in your disinfectant and spray the whole compound. We also have liquid soap. Liquid soap helps us in washing the utensils like these ones. You cannot wash these things without this soap. We, we, this one has some sort of disinfectant in it. It kills the germs and again it makes the, the utensils very clean. So never avoid, never miss liquid soap on your farm. Liquid soap is easy to make. If you, if you can't make it, you just buy. But this one is very simple to make. For us here, we make for ourselves. But sometimes you buy, however you can make or you can buy. 
This five liter jelly can of liquid soap goes for 7,000 Ugandan shillings. A, a, a 20 liter jelly can goes for 20,000. But if you make for yourself, you save a lot of costs. You save a lot of money on that. So, I have this my sweeping broom. This helps me to sweep places like this. Hmm? You have to ensure that you sweep every time because once it's swept, it is easier to control diseases and pests and infections. So the, the last thing that you must have are the gumboots. These gumboots that are used in the poultry house should never get out. So these gumboots stay this side. You can, if you can see, this area is a no-go zone area for anybody. This one here. You can, if it was maybe like a, a factory, it would be maybe the central processing unit. This is where the chicken lay their eggs inside here. That's where they are raised. So we cannot simply enter like that anyhow. So you come, whatever you had, either gumboots or any other shoes, leave them behind. M much as they are not going outside the farm so much, but at least you don't trust anything outside the chicken house. We spray the whole compound always, but never trust anything. So you come with your gumboots, whether they were in the chicken yesterday or not, clean, put your foot, you dip it well. Then you go on, if you are to sweep, sweep. Hmm? So if you are to go into the chicken house, you enter because you are already clean. You are out of my farm, you know, this place, you cannot simply joke around with the poultry. Disinfect yourself, then you enter with the clean overall that does not go outside the farm. So you enter your parts. Yes, here we are. With the red disinfected uniform, disinfected feet, and everything done under measurements. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for having watched our videos always. It's been nice with this video. Let's meet in another video. Stay tuned.